Hello everybody. Today's lesson, how to read an architectural scale ruler using half inch scale. This is the architect scale ruler. It measures feet and inches. Each side has a different scale and it can be read from either side. In this class, we'll be dealing with half inch, three eighths of an inch, and quarter inch. You can locate the half inch part of the scale ruler. It usually has a red stripe across the center. On the half inch, locate the zero. On the right side of zero, measures inches. The left side of zero will measure the feet. So let's take a closer look at the inches. There are 12 inches in one foot. The first dash indicates a half an inch, this area right here. Every other line is one inch, from one all the way to 12. There are longer lines which indicate a visual reference for three, six, and nine inches. So this area here is one foot, and every dash is one foot in half inch scale. So let's have a look at the first foot. First dash is one foot, but it says 10. Don't be confused by that number 10. As I said before, the scale ruler reads from both sides. The 10 refers to 10 feet in one inch scale from the opposite side. Second dash is two feet. The third dash is three feet. Again, there's a nine. Don't be confused by that number nine. We know this is three feet. The next dash is four feet, and so on and so on. Let's take a look at measuring some lines. The first one here is really easy. You should have an answer of one foot, zero inches. Let's try another one. This line doesn't end on a dash. So we start by lining up the ruler to zero, and then you slide it to the right. In this case, it's the two foot dash. So we know that this line is two feet. But how many inches is it? Well, let's count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is two foot, six inches. All right, let's try another one. So this line, again, you start at the zero, you slide the architectural ruler to the lower number to the right. In this case, it's four feet. Let's take a look at how many inches. One, two, three. And again, the three, the six, and the nine are slightly longer, so it's a great visual reference. We're going to try another line. So this line, we start at the zero, slide it to the right, the lower number, in this case, it's one foot. 
Again, the visual reference tells me that that's 9 inches. So the answer is 1 foot 9. All right, let's try one more. Start at the zero, slide the architectural ruler to the right, to the lower number. We know that this is three feet. How many inches? One, two, three, Four. The answer is three feet, four inches. All right, let's move on. Let's measure an object in half inch scale, and then we'll add some dimensions. So let's take a look at this rectangle. This rectangle could represent a flat on stage, or perhaps it's a platform. First thing we need to do is measure its width. Using the scale ruler, we can see that the measurement is 2 feet 3 inches. This is called the measurement. The next thing we have to do is add something called extension lines. Extension lines continue or extend from the surface of the object and establish the size of the dimension. They do not touch the object line. Extension lines provide a means of displaying a measurement without placing the dimension on the object itself. Next is a dimension line. The dimension line is a thin line broken in the middle to allow the placement of the dimension or the measurement. Where the dimension lines and the extension lines meet, you put an arrow, a dash, or a dot. In this case, I put half arrows. Now that we've measured the width, let's go ahead and measure the height. According to the measurements on my scale ruler, this is 3 feet 7 inches. I'll add my extension lines, my dimension line, and I'll finish it off with the arrows. In theater, it's important to supply the production shop with accurate scale drawings in order to build from. Exercise number one. Print off the following worksheet and add measurements. You can find the worksheet in Blackboard after this video.